everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought it'd be fun to do a little collective haul of some things that I've picked up over the last couple months. It's a mix of clothes, jewelry, beauty makeup, um, so a little bit of a hodgepodge of everything and yeah. Most of it I have already like worn and used so I'll give like a quick little review of each item as I'm going along. Alright, let's get right into it. So first up, I have some items from Theory. Um, I used to shop this brand a lot like 10 years ago and I've kind of fallen back in love with it. They make really nice like high quality materials and very like simple silhouettes. So I feel like you could wear it to work but you could also wear it um, on the weekend just like really dressed down. Uh, so the first up is this cute little cardigan and I like the texture of it. It's probably like a wool cashmere blend. They do a lot of like blends like that and it just has this really fun um, kind of like woven pattern to it. And then I also got like a zip up hoodie. Um, this one is kind of like a two-toned. It's like a very neutral beige with like a darker brown on the inside and it has a nice big hood. I will say I probably should have sized up in this. Um, so I got the first cardigan in a medium because I wanted it to be like loose and flowy. And then this one I think I got in a, yeah, I got this in a petite or like their extra small version, um, which they just call like P and I like it and it fits, but I wish it was like slightly roomier. And then I also have a pair of suit pants from Theory. This is actually half of a set and I never thought I would be wearing like suit pants again. I don't know, I kind of love these. Um, these are low rise. They do sell them in also like mid rise and high rise and also different lengths. So if you're petite or tall, they do have like extra lengths. Of course, it's good for work, um, but I've been wearing this a lot just on regular casual days. Um, I wear it over a base layer because it is wool material and it's winter now, so it's roomy enough and loose enough to wear over um, heat tech or base layers, but then you can also um, still look very put together in it because it's it's still like very slimming. And yeah, I feel like Theory just really nails um, nice silhouettes. Like it's very simple, very basic, but you always look really, really tailored in it at the same time. And then next up, I have this cardigan from Acne. I love Acne, I'm a big fan of their knitwear. Um, I saw this in store and I just kind of loved it, but it is very expensive. So I waited for it to go on sale and it finally did. Um, I got it off net porter I will put the link in the description if you want to check it out. And I just think this color is so pretty. It's kind of like a gray, light blue lavender. It has these like chunky buttons and some nice big pockets in the front. And it's the perfect amount of oversized too. Um, I would just get your regular size because they they make it like quite oversized. As you can tell, I've been really into cardigans, so this is another one I picked up. This one is a slightly different silhouette. It's a little bit more fitted and tighter and cropped. Um, it's kind of like a bolero style, I guess, and I really like how the top is just a, it just clasped at the top and the rest of it doesn't have any buttons. It's got like a velvet trim on it too, so it's kind of fun for the winter time or holiday season. Um, you could throw it over like a simple silk dress or you could wear it you know, casually, or you can even wear it to work. And I've also been really into leather, so I picked up two vintage leather jackets, and this is what they look like. Um, they're, they're slightly different. One is a little bit more oversized, like like a men's style jacket, and the other is a little bit sleeker. Um, and yeah, I really love them. I think the best way to find leather jackets is to shop vintage, because older ones just like have, already have that built in softness and suppleness that you get when leather ages over time. It's also much more affordable that way too and more sustainable. So, And then I liked the leather jacket so much that I also picked up a leather puffer. This one is actually vegan leather, so it's not real leather, um, but it feels super soft and super squishy and it's lined with down, so it's much warmer than just a regular jacket. And it's very oversized, very puffy. Um, someone told me I look like the Michelin man in this or like the Pillsbury Doughboy, because it is, it's got like, like the little, rolls I guess um, but I love it it comes in all these different neutral colors too like four or five different shades of brown and tan and creams um, and I went for this darker version it goes really well with looser bottoms as well and this one is cut slightly cropped so I feel like it doesn't overwhelm you especially if you are petite because it's got that cropped silhouette and then I also picked up some jewelry I'm wearing them right now one they're both earrings one is a cuff like a diamond ear cuff and with cuffs you can just you don't actually need an ear piercing you can just slip it on and you can put it pretty much on any part of your cartilage um, so yeah I really love this one I thought it was distinct it's got two kind of curved rows of diamonds and the quality of these are really really good I was very surprised I wasn't sure what to expect let me put it back on um, 
Yeah, the quality of these is really good. I wasn't sure what to expect because I bought it online and you never quite know, especially with jewelry. So I was really, really pleasantly surprised when I got these. It was packaged super nicely. It came quite quickly. They also included like a cute little um, pouch and jewelry case, which I thought was a nice touch because I wasn't expecting that. I think it was like a holiday promotion, um, but it was one of those like surprises, like you open the box and they just added all these extra little goodies. And the other thing I got is also an earring. I'm wearing it on this side. I like to wear my jewelry and kind of sleep in it, shower in it, not really touch it. Um, so both of these have been consistently on um, since I got them. So I really like them. This one is a, like a diamond stud with a little dangly diamond and it's, it is modular so you can take off the little dangly part and just wear the stud. Um, but I kind of like two of them together. I was very impressed by how shiny they are. Um, they're definitely shinier than my other uh, diamond earrings, so I guess I'll have to change those out soon. Um, but yeah, really love them if you are looking for diamond jewelry at a slightly more affordable price point, um, then definitely check these out. And then lastly, I have beauty. Um, I'm not a big beauty makeup person. I kind of use the same things. Um, but I've discovered some new to me things that I really like, so I thought I would share them. The first are some fragrances. Um, these are my go-tos. I've been using this one for years and I just picked up a different scent from the same brand. Um, they're both by Maison Francis Kirktajan. Probably not saying that right. I believe they're a Turkish brand um, and they make really, really beautiful fragrances and it's pretty accessible. You can get it um, like Nordstrom, Saks, any, any beauty counter. Um, so the first one is Aqua Universalis Fort, and I love this one. It's my go-to daytime, everyday scent. And then this one is the one I picked up more recently, and this one is the very popular Baccarat Rouge 540. And I would say this is more of a nighttime scent. It's definitely like stronger. Um, so I usually do like three spritzes of this one and then like only one or two of this one. And um, I definitely recommend if you are interested in fragrances, like trying on at the counter and then like getting a sample because um, they do wear differently on your skin and especially over time like you want to see how long it lasts and i also recommend that because they come in different variations so there's like eau de toilette which is like the lighter weaker version and then eau de parfum but then there's also like fort um, so i got this one in the stronger version but this one i liked the regular so there's so many variations you gotta like figure out which one you like um and then i also picked up this isi mayaki perfume and i Love this like probably 10 years ago and I'm kind of like rediscovering things that I used to really like. So this one is their very classic, I think it's called Oda Oda Issey. Yeah, Oda Issey. Um, and Issey Miyake is just like a really beautiful Japanese brand. Um, their perfume is great. It's meant to smell like the scent of water on a woman's skin and it's very floral. It is quite um feminine and like strong um so i love this a lot and i actually also got a bottle for my mom um and she likes it a lot too so i think it's multi-generational and yeah the packaging is really beautiful too it kind of looks like a little um cone shaped pyramid and then uh, i figured i would end on some makeup i recently picked up some makeup from chanel for the first time and i love it i was really curious about their Le beige line it's kind of like a watery foundation i'm um, like a maybe a little bit stronger than a tinted moisturizer, but definitely like a light coverage foundation. And I usually prefer full coverage, but um, especially over the summer, like my skin can get quite clogged. So I was looking for something a little lighter and I found this and I love it. I've used it pretty much every single day since I got it or like every single time I wear makeup. Um, and there's still about half the bottle left. So I, it was expensive, but I do think it's worth the money because um, you need very, very little product. It is a very small tube, I will say. And basically it's got these like little bubbles in it and you spritz a little you know pump and then you mix it and then that's how you get the like the color capsules mixed with water to create like this foundation texture um, it also comes with a brush to apply it and i believe there's like an older version of the Le beige foundation and this one is the newer updated version which is slightly more coverage and meant to be more like a concealer so the brush kind of looks like a concealer brush um, i just use it with my hands and yeah really really been liking this I will say it's one of those foundations that the first time I tried it on in the store, I was like, oh, I don't really see a difference. And then I kind of walked around a bit and like saw myself in the mirror like 30 minutes later. And I was like, oh, my skin looks really like even and glowy. Um, so it gives you just a, it takes a little bit of time to work and to like settle in. And then it just gives you a very even glowy 
appearance, like that no makeup makeup look, um, but I can tell it makes a huge difference on my skin. I feel like my main issue is just discoloration. So this just evens it out and brightens it, which I love. And then I also picked up some lipsticks from Chanel. Um, one was a hit and one was a miss. So I'll start with the miss. This is the very, very popular boy lipstick. Um, and I, I think I saw this like all over TikTok, which is why I picked it up. It's a really pretty, um, shimmery kind of brown shade. Um, I think it's just that my lips have a little bit too much pigment for this to show up. So it doesn't really add any color to my lips. Um, but the formula is really nice. It's very, I can't remember which one this is. Oh, this is the Coco Flash formula. So it's super moisturizing. Um, so if you want a moisturizing lipstick, then maybe give this a shot. And I've seen it look really nice on darker skin tones. And this is the other one that I picked up that I really love. And again, I've been using this pretty much every day since I got it. It's the Rouge Allure Line shade 199 in Entendu. And this one I would say is not as moisturizing, but I really like the color. It's like a very subtle fall plummy color. Um, so I think it's nice for winter and it's very buildable. So I usually do like two swipes for an everyday look. And then for nighttime, I'll, I'll do like three or four layers to get that like slightly darker vampire look without being too dark. Cause I feel like I love dark lipsticks, but I do think they can age you and make you look older so I don't want it to be like too purpley um, so this is that perfect in between brown and purple shade and I also got um, some concealer that I really love Kosas is another brand that I saw all over social media and I was very curious about it and I really love this concealer it's great if you have dry skin it's like a very thick creamy formula and I just put very little under the eye and around the nose and I feel like it makes a huge difference in my makeup um, it kind of like helps sculpt the face and like lift your cheekbones a little bit. I think I want to try their foundation next once I use up the rest of my foundation. Um, so yeah. And then finally, Hourglass. This palette is not new. I think it's been out for years and years, but it's new to me. I just picked it up and it's basically the ambient light powder. Um, it's got like three different powders and I only discovered recently that there is a difference between setting powder and finishing powder. So this is finishing powder. It just gives a very, um, like glow to your skin like a very even brightness and it makes your skin look flawless even though it you know even though your skin isn't it comes in two different colors um one and two and i originally bought two and it was a little too dark for me so i recommend one if we if you have a similar skin tone to me one of my friends was like oh like your skin looks really good and it's it's definitely because of this so well the combination the chanel foundation and this and the concealer then lastly i did get two pairs of shoes i'm still a little torn on them i'm not sure if i should keep them because, well, you'll see. Uh, so the first is a pair of Margiela Tabbies. I love the Tabbies. They come in all different styles and I went for the Oxford version. Um, I love loafers and Oxford. Um, they're in this like dark brown color, which I think is really nice and glossy and kind of rich and perfect for fall winter. Um, they, I don't know, tell me if you like love them or hate them because I think they're a very polarizing kind of shoe. Um, and then I also picked up a pair of boots. I don't really need more boots, but I always loved Proenza's chunky boots. I like Proenza Schooler in general. They make very simple shoe styles um, with just like a fun little twist. So these boots have a really chunky platform and that contrast white stitching on the sole. So they kind of stand out, especially when you're wearing like a long loose pair of pants. Um, and then they have these buckles on the ankles that I think give it like a bit of a tougher edge, I guess. I don't know. They also have it in a regular Chelsea boot style and a tall boot style, um, if you are interested in those. I would say both the Tabbies and the Proenza boots run true to size, and yeah. Oh, and I got them from the Essence sale. So Essence is still doing the sale. It starts um, usually like November, and it's still going on. Um, so if they still have your size left, I would definitely recommend checking it out. They have pretty good deals on there. Um, the only thing is shipping takes a while. It took like three weeks for these boots to arrive. And yeah, that's everything I picked up over the last couple months. Let me know if there's anything that you've been shopping. Um, I'm always looking for, I don't know, inspiration, I guess. <laughs> All right, see you in my next video.